Okay, here I am. I've got your um, magazine. And like I said, the weakest point on this is right in here. So I, there was two things I would do. Um, you're weak at, you, you, with, with 3D printing, you're just printing on top of there. And if you didn't get good adhesion, it's going to break like that other one did. So what I do is I take, no, oh, sorry, CA glue. I would take, oh, it'll be open. First of all, I take CA glue. I take a, a good hard, hard um, cotton swab. I wouldn't use the ones you got behind the store or the ones you use in your bathroom. But um, I would put CA on this. And I would come in here and I'd rub it on the inside of that lip, inside of that lip, and just rub it back and forth, and that will feel the um, we the where where the it'll actually adhere the edges of those printing lines without, and it, it'll just get in lines. Now you don't want to leave it set a long time because it'll set up. So, I'm, so what I'm doing, I'm feeling that this is part we can't get to. Now on the outside. You can see all these lines there where that glue, where that um, printing went on. So how I would fix it, and I'm going to do mine like this. This is three quarter ounce fiberglass cloth. It's like doing a fingernail. At, uh, if you got a wife or girlfriend who does um, get some manicure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take CA glue, and I'm going from where that notch is right there. you got a point there, and I'm putting some CA on there first. That feels all that, um, those striations or lines. And I've cut this pretty pretty sharp, so I'm gonna lay it right there. You'll see it fills up with the CA. All right. So now you can take your finger. Now that's gonna glue to your finger. You just gotta move fast. All right, so I'm gonna let that set just a second. What I'm gonna do now is come back on this side across the top. Put a drop of glue, you want glue all the way across there, and you can get the excess off. We're going to pull that over. We don't want to pull it off. We're just going to lay it over. This three-quarter ounce cloth lays down pretty well. So um, it'll make that turn. Uh, I, had, I did another one earlier. It worked better. It, you can always let this set up first and then just pull it tight. That may work better to do that in first. Pull it tight. And then, where's my kicker? Um, where'd I put it? Oh, they sell some stuff that sets this out really quickly. So I'm just going to spray that. All right, now, that'll set up here in just, just seconds. All right, so now to cut that, all you gotta do is I take three, 320 grit paper and it'll cut that fiberglass. And so that's just like your wife say, your wife or girlfriend going and getting their fingernails done. They use a similar thing when they put on some of these nails. All right, so that has taken this piece here and it has adhered all those edges all the way up and over the top. So the only place it could break from now would be the inside out, but it's not going to lift up that way. And um, it'll you can sand it. I mean, I used to do model airplanes. That's why I do fiberglass cloth. Then, to finish it off, you say, oh God, that looks rough on top. It doesn't look pretty. I'll just take um, a drop of uh, black paint, come across here, across the top.
once that dries, it's like it's never you never know it's never known. It. But this is solid. It is. Well, I did that side already. It's not. It's not going to break from the outside. The only place it can break from is the inside this way. And by putting the CA on the inside, I think we're solving the problem of it breaking loose on the inside. So that would be my fix. Um, and. I mean, I really, I mean, unless I was looking for it, I really couldn't tell it except for the striations or the printing lines are gone right there. And that, that's, like I said, that's, that's your weakest point on there. And I think eventually, over time, most of them will fail just from, just not, not being mean. Just 3D printing is not as good, not as strong as injection molding. It just, it just won't. Over time, I think that's going to be fatigued. So anyway, I'm going to try to send you this video. Hope it helps. If not, I, I appreciate you working with me.